Hey guys, Mrs. Corcoran here. I'm going to show you now how to do a um, symmetrical layout with your scanogram. And today I'm using Richard's um, scanogram because it looks great and it's showing balance and it has a nice color scheme and I think it's going to look really nice reflected and as a symmetrical composition. So the first thing you want to do is open your scanogram in Photoshop and then you want to select uh, the crop tool over here. Now you'll notice that I already have Command J made a new layer for the photo so just in case I don't like it we can just click off, click back on, start over, you have your original image right here. So I Command J and now again I'm going to go my crop tool. Now up here you have all these crop presets. So if you click on ratio, I'm going to click on 5 by 7. So that already makes your crop 5 by 7. And then I'm going to select check and now I have a 5 by 7 photo. Now I'm going to go file new, regular document, and now I have to use a little bit of math and switch, make sure this is on inches. And so I know it's five by seven, so it's gonna be 10 by 14, right? Right. So 10 by 14. And then I'm gonna go create, and there it is, my 10 by 14 document. Now I realize actually that I'm gonna go back and change this because it's vertical. I'm going to do it again, and this time I'm going to do 14 width, 10 height. There we go. Okay, so now I have it cropped, and I'm going to command click my layer. And. Okay, we'll see if that works. Command click, and then Command C for copy. And I'm gonna bring it over here, and I'm gonna go Command V, paste that in there. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna bring my photo down a little bit. Bring it all the way to the left side. Then I'm gonna duplicate not duplicate. Well, yeah, you can just duplicate your layer. That's fine. Command J. Oh, check. Command J. And then you'll have another image right here. And just right click. Um, okay, we're going to Command T. Transform. And we're going to go flip horizontal. Yeah, and then move your image over here and say, okay, and then this one, we we'll move over here. It seems like it's not quite big enough. So I'm gonna make this one a little bigger, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, just as long as they're touching here. And now you can see that that's the overall layout. Now, if you want to do things like rotate and make it really big, and then do the same thing with the other one, rotate, make it really big. There's a lot of interesting things you can do with the layout. And in this one, I'm going to move it over a little more because you're going to have to kind of center it so that it's symmetrical.
And I know there's like small white space at the top, but I don't mind that. So there is my symmetrical scanogram. Now you can do this with any picture you want to. So if you wanted to use another photo, actually it's really easy. You just go um, find a photo, open it in Photoshop, and then command click, Oops. double click on that, command click, copy, and then you have your layout here, so you can just paste those in. This one I think is going to make a really interesting photo, and I'm going to shrink it down quite a bit because there's a lot of photo information down here. And make it way smaller. There we go. Say OK, and then I'm going to duplicate that layer, bring this guy over here. And then there's like a hundred different things you can do to make it look interesting. That looks really odd. I like it. Let's see if I can bring this one up. So yeah. Okay. And then if you wanted to Just crop your image. See how that looks. There you go. I noticed too there's a lot of white over here, so you can go ahead and do that again as many times as you want to. That's better. And now we have this really crazy looking photo that it was just made by duplicating your layer and then transforming each one to make it symmetrical. Now this one isn't exactly symmetrical, but it still looks pretty awesome. So that is all.